Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce some of our riders to you here tonight. They're coming over there to talk to you. Come on up to the rail and say hi. They're the ones who are going to be doing it tonight. There's Dan Jacobson. You don't want to miss that guy right there, number 44. He's riding a bunch of classes. J.J. Flaherty's here tonight. Adam Pop, ladies and gentlemen, all the way from the Twin Cities. Look at that handsome devil. We got the whole crowd here tonight. So get on over there, say hi to your fans. They can't wait to see you. You can't wait to see them. Don't be afraid. Walk out there on the track, you guys. Don't be shy. I've met a few of their fans tonight, and they're great people. Chelsea Samuelson is here tonight. Keep an eye on her, the number 17 in the Mad Dog class. Don't be afraid to move up close to the rail, you guys, and say hi to these people. Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, please. VFW Post 762 Honor Guard is going to do us proud and show you the American flag. So if we could get you on your feet and remove your hats, please. Ladies and gentlemen, VFW Post 762, give them a big round of applause. And now I would like to introduce to you Miss Lori Aismas, who is going to go ahead and give us a short invocation. Let us pray. Father in heaven, thank you for the many blessings we enjoy each day. We pray that you would bless the racers, the event crews, and the fans this evening. We ask that you would bless us with a safe and exciting flat out in Fargo. Bless the fans' involvement in tonight's Buddy Poppy photo op, and may the meaning of the Buddy Popper never be forgotten. We thank you for our brave law enforcement officers, firefighters, and first responders, and we ask that you would bless them. We thank you for our veterans serving around the world and here in the United States of America, protecting our freedom to enjoy another flat out Fargo, and we ask that you will bless them also. Thank you, God, for your presence here today, for we pray in Jesus' name and all God's people, amen. Thank you so much, and now I'd like to introduce you, Miss Tanya Wheats, who is going to sing our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the pale 
our others fight or the ramparts we wash were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave so much. ladies and gentlemen it's time to go motorcycle racing here with flat out fargo well, we're going to start our program out here tonight with uh, some of the expert riders are going to come out and do some, do some hot laps, get some stuff done. And uh, you're going to see just exactly how it's supposed to be done. So you're going to get a chance to take a look at Kevin Anderson riding a number 25 Honda. He is sponsored by Diesel Minnesota. M3 Racing's Mac McGrew is going to get out there. Michael Strabel all the way from uh, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. He, I can see his number plate poking through there. Dan Jacobson Jr. on the number 44. Let's get some of these going and let's see how fast these guys can go. These are going to be the experts. You're going to see them in a little while. Right there, there's the number 29. Jake Mattia. Keep an eye on him. He did everything except one. Mama tried. Cole Feely, number 48. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Those are your pro riders. They're gonna, you're going to see them racing a little later today. There's the hometown boy, number 44, Dan Jacobson, Jr. Don't be afraid to put your hands together for that guy. And now we're coming up with the motorcycle race and starting next with our Mad Dog mini bike race. And we got multiple heats of these guys.
Okay, here we go. There's number 39, Dan Jacobson Sr. Okay. Mad Dog Mini Bikes coming up. Keep your eye out for number 52, Adam Pop. Number 39, Dan Jacobson. Looks like the number 12. Here we go, heat race number one of the Mad Dog Mini Bikes. Ladies and gentlemen, we're racing here at Flat Out Fargo. It looks like number 52, Adam Pop, is getting the job done. Dan Jacobson on the number 39. Now moving up and around the outside, that's the number five. That's Ross Olson. There we got one more time around for number 52. Your winner at heat race number one in the Mad Dog Mini Bike sets, Adam Pop. Second's gonna be 39, Dan Jacobson. Third's gonna be the number five of Ross Olson. And there you've got heat race number one of the Mad Dog Mini Bikes. Heat race number two is coming up. Okay, here comes the number 90. That's Peyton Praska. Dan Jacobson Jr. on the number 44. Okay, they're getting them all lined up. Dan Jacobson Jr. out to an early lead. And he's stretching it out. Henry Tress here, number 54, is doing a fine job in second. Dan Jacobson now moving through some lap traffic. He's got it going on.
Number 520, that's another one of our female competitors. That's Casey Canton on a Suzuki. There's your winner. He raced number two, number 44, Dan Jacobson, Jr. Number 10, there's Mac McGrew. Sean Sheely's riding the number eight today. Oh, and there's Cinco the Stinko. There he is. Cinco takes his position on the second to the inside from the outside. Ladies and gentlemen, he raced number three of the Mad Dog Mini Bikes. It's McGrew in number 17, Chelsea Samuelson in the green helmet. The black and white leathers on the red bike, that's number 17, Chelsea Samuelson. Ladies and gentlemen, there's your checkered flag for your winner. He raced number three of the Mad Dog Minis. That is number eight. Sean Sheely. Okay, coming up next, these are the Grom Mini Bikes. These things are just wild. We got some top riders here. Here's one of my favorite riders, number 68, Josh Cook from Cedar, Minnesota. Number 44, Dan Jacobson Jr. Number 48, Cole Feely. And the number 08. They're on the line, they're waiting for the green light. And it's Cook, followed by Jacobson and Feely. One, two, and three.
running order continues to be Cook, Feely, Jacobson. You know what? I've just got it on good advice that we've got earplugs available at the concession stand. Coming up next, we got vintage motorcycles. 45, JJ Flaherty. Cam Hood on 71. Okay, we got J.J. Flaherty, number 44, Randy Thistle. Well, that number 38 bike's running pretty good. He just needs to get it pointed the correct position. There's your winner, vintage he race number one, number 45, J.J. Flaherty. He race number two of the... Okay, he race number two of the vintage motorcycles coming up next. Lee Feely, number 48. Number eight, Joe Cornelius. Number 192, Brad Close. Number three, Mac McGrew. And number 21 on the outside pole.
There's your guy, number 48, Lee Feely. Sportsman Motorcycle coming up next. Andrew Mayaghetto on the number 93. Keep your eye out for him. Number 73, Chad Canton. Way up on the outside poles, Dave Kilkenny on the number 35. They're doing some shuffling there. Keep your eye for Jason Remick on that number 77. Oh, and I think we had somebody leave a little bit early there. Yep, the red flag's out. Number 71, Kim Hood. <coughs> Okay, Kim Hood's back on the back line. That's Dave Kilkenny on that number 35. Well, Kill Kenny's killing him. Second place is Mike Ghetto on the number 93 Kawasaki. Holy cow, these guys were all about going fast. These are the sportsmen. Okay, here comes number five, Justin Rydell. And there we've got number 89. That's Bob Blasky. And the last man to pick his spot on the line is going to be the number 13, Keith Lillies on a Suzuki. There's our friend Joe Schwab on the number 270. Oh, he's got some fans out there. Oh!
Well, looks like everybody wanted to create a pile down there in corner number two. Number 13's getting his bike straightened out. Well, Joe Cornelius did a great job hole shotting, and then just everybody kind of joined in in a wild pile right behind him. Looks like number 13 says, says I've had enough of that. Oh, another big fall. That's number 270, Joe Schwab. Number 270, another anxious moment. One more time around. Oh, he's happy. And we're happy to see a beautiful wheelie like that. Holy cow. He raced number three of the sportsman coming up next. Zach Jorgensen's looking racy on the Kawasaki. He raced number three of the sportsmen. 29, I think that's Chuck Beving taking his position. That's Kim Hood on the 71. Zach Jorgensen in second. Got a man down, coming off of corner number four. There's your winner, Kim Hood.
These are the hooligans. These are the closest thing to the bikes you're going to ride on the street right there. J.J. Flaherty on a Sportster. Dan Jacobson Jr. on a Sportster. We got number 14 on a Fat Boy. So these are the heavyweights here tonight, all twin cylinders at least. It's Flaherty and Jacobson right up at the front. So right now it's Flaherty, Jacobson, and Samuelson. Samuelson won the hooligan race at the Battle of the Twins earlier this year. There's your winner, number 45, J.J. Flaherty. Number 44, Dan Jacobson Jr. And in third place, number 17, Josh Samuelson from Frazee, Minnesota. That's one, two, three, and he raced number one of the hooligans. He raced number two of the hooligans coming up. And there's some guys you want to keep your eyes open for in this one. There we got a Suzuki, a Ducati, and a bunch of Sportsters. Dave Kilkenny is on that number 35 Sportster. We just saw him do a great job in the sportsman class. So we'll have to see what he's going to do here.
I'm telling you, Kilkenny showed him just how it's done. Scooter's coming up. Who'd have thunk they'd have Scooter racing at Flat Out Fargo, but here it is right now. Man, them are the fastest scooters I ever seen. Holy cow. Except for these bunch of scooters. We're digging the cape on the one guy. Boy, it looks like our Cape Crusaders doing a fine job in second. Looks like number 76 Bagot, followed by the Caped Crusader. Holy cow. 
Only thing they're missing is a paper bag to put on their heads so nobody knows who they are riding and things. Here we got pro motorcycles coming up. Keep your eye out, number 29. Michael Strabel, number 100. Nick Mattia, number 44, Dan Jacobson, Jr. Number 26, Chad Kenyon. It's Feely. Feely Kenyon Strabel. Well, it's settled down now. We got Feely, Kenyon, Strabel, and Jacobson. One, two, three, and four. There you go. 100, 26, 29. Here's one of my favorite riders, the number 25, Kevin Anderson. Number 10L, Mac McGrew. Number 29, Jake Mattia. Number 48, Cole Feely. All the way from Cambridge, Minnesota, that's number 25, Kevin Anderson. Number 29, Jake Mattia. Those guys were going at it hammer and tong. 
So we're going to take a couple minutes here. Now might be a chance to head out and see the dog father out there and get your hot dog with your neon green relish on it. You don't want to miss that. They're going to break up the track a little bit. If you're interested in traveling and you like motorcycle racing, then the 27th of July, if you got that free, you got to hit Mama Tried's Flat Out Friday in Cleveland, Ohio. June 1st and June 2nd, you don't want to miss the hog rally at the Smoky Mountain Speedway. Oh, man, we got Mad Dogs on the track right now. This is our last chance qualifier. We got number five, Ross Olson, Henry Tressier, number 54, Chelsea Samuelson with the green on her helmet and the black and white leathers on the number 17. That's Chelsea Samuelson from Frazee, Minnesota. And our other female competitor on the outside, number 520, Casey Canton. Big wheelie by the number five, Ross Olson. We got Chelsea Samuelson working the outside. Oh, Chelsea Samuelson left, 
Samuelson left the door open at number five. Ross Olson stuck his nose in there. Chelsea Samuelson hanging on to second, doing a great job. Ross Olson on the bottom, Chelsea Samuelson on the top, side by side. Henry Tessier, he's caught up to it. Nice job. Number five, Ross Olsen went from a big wheelie in last place on the start to a good second. Number 17, Chelsea Samuelson in third. Last chance qualifier number two, number 17B, Jim Balliot. Peyton Praska on number 90, Justin Gustafson on number 99, and Jaron Livingston. Alias Stinko Cinco. Here's last chance qualifier number two of the Mad Dog Mini Bikes. Justin Gustafson's leading them out. And now Cinco's running third, doing a great job. Just looking at his uh, poncho there makes me want to take a siesta. there between number 17 and number 90. Coming up next, we got the vintage last chance qualifier. Anthony Bauer, number 8X. Randy DeWitt on the number 37. Number 192, Brad Close. And number 44, Randy Thistle on the green and white. Honda.
Oh, ladies and gentlemen, here they come. Sportsman, last chance qualifiers coming up. Andy Mayaghetto, number 93. Justin Rydell, number five. Jared Simpson, 76. Jason Remick, 77. Keith Lillies. Chad Wegenes, number 13. John Wagness, number 13, leading them out. John Wagness. That guy's from Carrington, North Dakota. Came all the way over here to just do business. Sportsman last chance qualifier number two coming up. Jesse Sandry, number 30. Number 270, Joseph Swab. There's a few fast guys here. We're gonna see what happens to him. Dean Strabel, good friend of mine from Sioux Falls. Met him at the Sioux Valley Cycle Club in Renner. This kid Michael's riding tonight. Here they go, they're under starter's orders. They're looking for a green light. That's number 73, Chad Canton, number 30, Jesse Sandry. High sided over the back wheel of number 29, Dean Strabel, and created a pile. Okay, we got a few guys left. The number 270 is coming under pressure from Dean Strabel. It's Joe Schwab and Dean Strabel. Next time around, it's going to be the checkered flag, and it's the number 270, Joe Schwab. Bags 
Last chance qualifier number two. Hooligans coming up. Keep your eye out for this guy, Josh Samuelson. This guy won the Battle of the Twins. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not Josh Samuelson at all. That's a Ducati, that's the number 17B. That's Jim Balliot on a Ducati Monster. Oh, that's the number 420, Bill Matthews. Oh! Thad Navratil, you know he's felt that one. Looks like our brief leader, number 420, has worked his way to the back row. Josh Samuelson out front now. Oh, number 420 with a ballsy move up the inside. Oh, Thad never tells a little mechanical problem and he's out. The pride of Frazee, Minnesota, the winner of the Battle of the Twins in Minneapolis just a few weeks ago, Josh Samuelson. Hooligan, last chance qualifier, number two. Number 96, Tyler Gortmaker. Number 101, Mac McGrew, Larry Larson, and Justin Rydell complete the field.
Michigan, last chance qualifier. Mac McGrew bagged it. Here comes a chopper dude, number 14. He'll have something to talk about at the cocktail lounge later tonight. Last chance qualifier for scooters coming up. It's the Caped Crusader in first. Not sure who he is, but we think he hangs around with Cinco. And the Cape Crusader bags it by a wheel. <laughs> Under heavy pressure. <laughs> Professional last chance qualifier coming up. We got Michael Strabel, 29, Colt Feely, 48. Dan Jacobson Jr., 45, Mac McGrew, and Jordan Emery, all the way from Canada. So we got Michael Strabel. Cole Feely, Dan Jacobson Jr., Mac McGraw, and the number 45, Jordan Emery. Three wide. Michael Strabel getting the thing done. McGrew pulls off. Strabel, Feely, Jacobson, and Emery. Last chance qualifier winner from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, number 29, Michael Strabel.
your pole sitter for tonight is number 52, Adam Pop. Dan Jacobson Jr., number 44. Sean Sheely, number eight, and Dan Jacobson Sr., number 39, will make up the front row. On the second row, we've got Thad Navratil, Mac McGrew, Henry Tessier, and Justin Gustafson. And there is your field for the Mad Dog Minibike main event. So you got 52, 44, 8, and 39 on the front row. And on the second row, we've got number 13, Thad Navratil, number 10L, Mac McGrew, number 54, Henry Tessier, and Justin Gustafson on row number two. Your main events are underway. And it's the father on the top line, the kid on the bottom line, that's the Jacobsons running one and two. Mac McGrew coming through to third from that second row start. We got a pile down here. Jacobson Jr., Matt McGrew, and Dan Jacobson Sr., Adam Pop on the number 52 is now moved into third place. from Fargo, North Dakota. Number 44, Dan Jacobson, Jr. Your main event winner tonight. He's gonna take all the money home with him. Well, we got the Grom main event coming up. Keep your eye on the number 68, Josh Cook. Number 48 is Cole Feely. Number 44 is Dan Jacobson, Jr. Devin Schmaltz is number 80, and Jake Mattias is number 29. And these are the Groms, the Honda Groms. You can go right down to the Honda dealer and buy yourself one of these things and show up next year at Flat Out Friday. Fargo. There's your field, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it looks like we already got a couple going to the back row.
Josh Cook, Jake Mattia, and Dan Jacobson. That's your one, two, three in the Grom main event. Vintage Motorcycle Main Events coming up. JJ Flaherty, 45. Lee Feely, 48. Kim Hoot, 71. Mac McGrew, number three. Anthony Bauer, number 8X. Chuck Beving on the number 21. And up next, we got the Sportsman Motorcycle main event. Pete Tapkin, 
number 71L, raced against this guy in Sioux Falls many times. Number eight, Wes Selby, Kim Hoon, number 71. Dave Kilkenny, number 35, there's your front row. by the number 35. That's Pete Tampkin leading it out. From Sioux Falls, South Dakota, riding the number 71L Honda, Pete Tapkin. Give him a big round of applause. <laughs> Pete Tapkin, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Hooligans coming up next, guys. There's JJ Flaherty. There's Dave Kilkenny. Dan Jacobson Jr. Nick Mattia riding the number 60, number 101. Mac McGrew and 17X, Josh Samuelson.
action, action in the hooligans. And there's your winner, number 35, Dave Kilkenny. Great job by Dave Kilkenny. Scooters, ladies and gentlemen. Scooters, you can barely tell if they're up or down. They just keep going. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the Scooter Main Event. Yeah. The Cape Crusader. These guys have no numbers. We have no idea who this guy is. All we know is he's the winner. Scooter, Scooter. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your expert riders, your professional main event coming up. You got number 100, Nick Mattia. Number 25 out of Cambridge, Minnesota, Kevin Anderson. Chad Kenyon, number 26. Jake Mattia, number 29. Michael Strabel, number 29X, and Cole Feely, number 48. Michael Strabel, your winner and one of the last chance qualifiers. He's way back there on the back row.
Jake Mattia, Nick Mattia, and Kevin Anderson. have never seen 20 laps go by quite that fast. Number 25, Kevin Anderson from Cambridge, Minnesota. He's giving his sidekick a ride around. There he is. From Cambridge, Minnesota, sponsored by Diesel Minnesota. Kevin Anderson. There he is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Now that's the night of motorcycle racing here from the Showlander Pavilion in West Fargo, North Dakota. Flat out Fargo, Kevin Anderson. Thank you all so much for coming. Come on down into the pits and talk to some of these riders. You gotta get to know these guys. They're all great folks.
The Groms. Holy cow, were those things wild? I'll tell you, they were just in a pile. In third place once again, Dan Jacobson Jr., number 44. In second place, Jake Mattia. And winning the thing, the newly retired Grand National, national number 68, Josh Cook. Vintage motorcycles, main event. We want to go through this too to give everybody an opportunity to know who the big guns were tonight. In third place, riding the number 8X, Mr. Anthony Bauer. He's got some fans here, and there's no reason why he shouldn't. He's a big gun. In second place, from Stanchfield, Minnesota, riding the number 48, Lee Feely. And in first place, riding the number 71, a Yamaha YZ465, the most unlikely flat tracker, and the absolute right guy to ride it and get the job done, on the number 71, Kim Hoon. The Sportsman Motorcycle main event. Third place, Sean Wagnast. Doing a great job. He had her one for a minute. Fell off, worked his way back. Sean Wagnacht in third place. In second, riding the number eight, Wes Selby. And winning the Sportsman Motorcycle main event tonight from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, a guy who I raced against years and years ago, number 71L, Pete Tapkin. And what a war it was in the hooligan main event this evening. Third place in his bright white leathers, riding the number 45, J.J. Flaherty. In second place, riding the number 60, Suzuki SV650, Nick Mattia. And watching his P's and Q's and doing a great job on the number 35, Harley Sportster, Dave Kilkenny won the main event in the Hooligans tonight. The Scooter main events. In third place, we had Ryan Schumacher, Travis Booten, number two, and Ethan Siegel in first place. And that was your Scooter main events. And now here's the guys we'd like to talk to you about. These are the guys who did the great job tonight. The number 26 machine, piloted by Chad Kenyon, finished in fifth place. In fourth place on the number 29K, Michael Strabel from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And now on the 100 machine, finishing in third place, Nick Mattia. Second place goes to Jake Mattia, on the number 29, riding the high line and riding the bottom and doing what he had to do to take home all the money tonight on the number 25, sponsored by Diesel Minnesota from Cambridge, Minnesota, Kevin Anderson. Thank you so much for coming to Flat Out Fargo. We hope you had a great time.